This is the young Maris Cole as a young teenager, the future Kenny Everett outside Stillington Hall, which was owned by the Verona fathers. They bought the house in 1949 and sold it in 1960. Uh, this is a picture of the house with Maurice in front of it and soon um, we'll see the magazine of the Verona Fathers who had missions in Uganda and Sudan mainly. There is a picture of the community uh, taken here with Maurice Cole on the extreme right. ITV used this picture and this is their view of it and the way they spoke of uh, Morris's early days in Stillington. Kenny's Catholic education had a lasting effect on his life. When he was 12, he spent two years studying with the Verona Fathers to become a missionary. It didn't last. Here's a picture of Morris with Father Tavano and David Watt from York. And these are the lads just chatting together after Sunday Mass in their nice uniforms. Who could ever know at this time that he'd reached such a high platform of fame? Here is your host for tonight, Kenny Everett. <laughs> Good evening, fans, and welcome to Not the Nine O'Clock News. Yes, the BBC and I have settled our old differences, and they've decided to give me my own show, as long as I don't say the word pubes. All right, that's it. <laughs> Go on, clear out, that's it. We have warned you. Thank you very much. On, on... Further, Go on, keep going. Right up. Right the way out. Right the way out. Come along, we have warned you. You don't believe in the whole bag. That's right. Generally speaking, the general direction. Do they expect you to be funny? Do they come up and... and... Best one I ever had was some woman in a supermarket who came up to me. She was about 109 and she came over, toddled up with her basket and, and said, Ooh, you're a daft bugger on the box. <laughs> <laughs> toddled off. <laughs> That's a great compliment. That's a nice really, one. Oh, yeah, nice yeah, it's yeah. nice. It depends how they do it, you know. Yeah. When you're hungover and you go into Sainsbury's or whatever and you're, you're shuddering with delirium tremens behind the frozen peas <laughs> and somebody grabs you and goes, Hey, Doris, it's him! <laughs> Get Mary! <laughs> and suddenly you're surrounded by the... And you're... This is a friend of Morris's, um, Peter Terry from Seaforth. Uh, his best friend is here, William Garrity in the middle. The two of them used to walk around and sing jingles like... Uh, a ploys for infants to go. A ploys for infants to go. Under the care of his sister Kate, Kenny died on April the 4th, 1995. In the last weeks of his life, he was reconciled with the church. And as a final promise, Kate arranged the requiem mass Kenny wanted so badly but thought he could never have. I think the funeral did reflect the real Kenny Everett. He loved pomp, ceremony, music, and it was what he asked for, and it was what he... He was dichotomous, he was many personalities. He was immensely talented, of course. He was great fun to be with. And he was my brother. And I loved him. 